Tim Siebel's English classes are among the hundreds of Old Dominion University students currently reading the book, Citizen. It's a book that examines many things, but primarily the construction of whiteness and what it means to the larger society, specifically to black folks. Written by American poet Claudia Rankin, Citizen, an American lyric, cast a critical look at life through various verbal forms, ranging from essays to poetry. The idea of whiteness continues to, in various ways, crowd out other identities. It's also about the ways in which the construction of whiteness blinds not only the people who are victimized by racism, but also those who either intentionally or unintentionally perpetrate racist gestures. I don't think it's a book that's easy on us, and I don't think it could be to do the work it's trying to do. I think you have to ask yourself certain questions about race and power. On the book's cover is a dark hood. That's clearly meant to echo Trayvon Martin's experience. And some of the artwork will stop you cold, like the picture of a man's face on the body of an animal. I asked Tim Siebels, an author in his own right and the former poet laureate of Virginia, to share a segment of Rankin's book that moved him. The new therapist specializes in trauma counseling. You have only ever spoken on the phone. Her house has a side gate that leads to a back entrance she uses for patients. You walk down a path bordered on both sides with deer grass and rosemary to the gate, which turns out to be locked. At the front door, the bell is a small round disc that you press firmly. When the door finally opens, the woman standing there yells at the top of her lungs, Get away from my house! What are you doing in my yard? It's as if a wounded Doberman pincher or a German shepherd has gained the power of speech. And though you back up a few steps, you manage to tell her you have an appointment. You have an appointment? She spits back. Then she pauses. Everything pauses. Oh, she says, followed by, oh, yes, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. The book looks at the assumptions people make about black and brown people and how those assumptions aren't just hurtful but can lead to tragic ends. There have been a few instances where that very uh, occasion has resulted in the death or wounding of somebody just because they knocked on the door and the person behind the door was threatened just because the person was black. Siebel says the idea behind getting the students to participate in this mass reading is to invite people who would probably prefer to avoid the complexity of race involved in discussions about it. The idea is, at the very least, the students would begin to think seriously about what does it mean to be a citizen in this country, given the racial dynamics that our history has uh, brought into being Since its release in 2014, Citizen has racked up numerous awards, including the National Book Critics Circle Award in Poetry. And Citizen is also the only poetry book to be on the New York Times bestseller list for nonfiction. It's an engaging read, one that Tim Siebel's hopes will spark change. Even if a student uh, doesn't have the same sense of this book that I might, for example, at least it plants a seed in their minds that will allow them, if they're interested, and I hope the vast majority of them will be, if they're interested in figuring out a better way to make America work, uh, this book at least plants the seed of uh, wonder. And uh, hopefully they begin to imagine themselves, be they white or black or brown or, or Uh, in whatever part of the spectrum they belong to, they begin to maybe see themselves somewhat differently in relation to other people. For Another View, I'm Lisa Godley.